Hey guys, once again we started off strong with a mastery rank test, it was a test to rank 13 and yeah, at the end of the video I actually will attempt the mastery rank 14 test and look at that, we found a rare container once more, it did get a 60 minute affinity and credit booster there and uh, yeah, that was very awesome and oh wow <laughs> We are looking at some Nova Prime gameplay here, guys. I promised you this uh, in the last video, if I recall correctly. And yeah, this is finally done. I finally finished building Nova Prime the way I like her. That sounded a bit wrong, but <laughs> yeah. So it is all about her fourth ability. And yeah, I mean, it's all about range duration and not so much on efficiency this time because yeah fleeting expertise as you know does uh, have a negative effect on duration so I just went to streamline to get a little bit of efficiency there and yeah this is an alert uh, which we were playing in a public squad if I remember correctly yes there we go somebody joined and I don't even remember what the thing was to play this. Oh, we will see it at the end. Doesn't matter too much. Um, yeah, I was just having fun with Nova Prime and you will see this ability in action. Um, yeah, it's amazing. And there we go, there's the Syndicate mod for the heck in action there. And as you can see, this ability radius is getting bigger and bigger which is awesome and as soon as you, we will move on here uh, you will get some quick look at um, slow down enemies and yeah I didn't pay too much attention of what was going on beside that in the squad I'm not really sure what the other guys were playing but uh, it doesn't matter there were some kind of decent players in there like Master Rank 10, 11, something on those lines and yeah that makes it really easy in alerts when you get to get rid of the um, guys that know what to do and uh, that are playing the game for a long time. So yeah, that is all about, the enemy have captured yeah that's really all about to say about this gameplay, I mean <laughs> you just have to see the ability in action and it will explain itself I guess, look at that. Yeah, awesome, awesome. And those interception missions, um, yeah, I have played one of them solo and it's just such a pain. You're just constantly running from one point to the other and uh, yeah, you, you don't progress that fast. Or not as fast as you, as you do with the squad, especially in the higher levels. This is just a bit of a pain if you're playing solo, so yeah. Why not just use the ability that they gave us with the random squad, so yeah, <laughs> perfect. It worked out pretty good at the end, you will see the stats, or the mission reward, I guess. And yeah, it was a ton of fun. So, what else? I did get my hands on Zephyr, which is uh, somewhat of a weird frame, I guess. Um, really special abilities, um, all about air combat actually, and you can put up a wind shield. As weird as that sounds, but it does work very well to deflect bullets. And her ultimate is a tornado, so yeah, a lot of fun with that build though. And uh, yeah, as you can see, we do have a frost here, so yeah, that was cool. Um, here put up his snow globe, I was slowing the enemies before they even get, got to his globe and if they did, they were just slowed down even more. <laughs> yeah, that was a ton of fun, just hanging around with some random guys and yeah, doing the alert, which is always fun, I should mention. <laughs> now really, if you get in a good squad then it's just place or yeah, sometimes it's just a run through, really just rush through the mission and that wasn't the case here. It was really, everybody was focused on two points, I guess. 
and yeah, so it worked out well. Um, one of the guys was very uh, concentrating on C. Um, I did move over here. Normally I would look over A and B because they are so close together. That means that uh, as soon as I trigger my ultimate here, I know that the enemies are slowed down on both points. And I think I do even affect guys here on this side on C when I uh, trigger the ultimate, which is good. <laughs> which is very good. <laughs> Just gives the guy on C a little bit of an easier job because he was alone on this side of the map for quite, uh, quite a while. So yeah, what else? I mean, as you can see, they are covered in this aura thingy with my energy color. I chose red just because I love red. <laughs> now, it's really one of my preferred um, energy colors. Not only because of the looks, but you uh, actually, in abilities like the Artemis bow of Iwara, you really have to see the color to actually see your arrows at your fire so yeah that's why red is uh, very often used by me and other guys and yeah that was already the half point of the alert um you do have to get to decode two messages and then you can bail bail out or i think it does even finish automatically i can't remember it's been a while guys it's been a while <laughs> but yeah Definitely Nova Prime, um, even the normal Nova, very important support frame if you use her for support. Actually Nova has the highest amount of damage output on her second ability. No other frame can inflict that much damage with one single use of their ability like Nova does. And I'm not sure how many people know that, I mean I never really thought about putting strength mods on basically because I only have one of them so it doesn't really affect too much and there you see he just did a bow for me to say thank you for the team energy restore there and yeah this is one of the reasons why this community is so great um, the guys that are not that much progressed in the store chart and don't have all the dojo unlocks or syndicates unlocks like uh, our clan currently has and um, we did get some new guys and we still have a little bit of space we are getting close to 30 members again which is our max but yeah we have uh, recruited two new guys and i think at the moment we have two or at least one slot open um yeah so if you are playing more frame on the PS4, write us a message so we can invite you, um, yeah, would be fun, would be fun to see one of you guys there. Okay, so about the sword key gameplay that I uh, mentioned last time, um, I did talk to Little Cloud and uh, he wouldn't actually mind me using the gameplay, but I decided against this anyways right now because I would like to see if I can run the sort of mission solo with the frames that I do have right now <laughs> and yeah I know that will be a challenge um, it will take me a bit of time to um, yeah get everything prepared and mod all the frames the way I will want to mod them I will have to do some vault runs get some more corrupted mods get some more um, stalker mods a colored mods they're called I think something like that and yeah Basically, that's about it. Um, I did run out of Forma, I did run out of Orokin Catalyst and Orokin Reactors. So, yeah. <laughs> Zephyr isn't potato for right now, so yeah, I couldn't take um, so much out of her as I would like to. But uh, I used her in the Mastery Rank 14 test, you will see a little bit afterwards. And she is a ton of fun to use. She can bullet jump higher than any other frame and you can just jump up and then slam down to the ground with her I think it's the second ability yeah the first one does put cool. like a catapult it shoots you up in the air they can combine those two for a really nice attack and yeah we had one guy with us that uh, I think he hadn't maxed out his frame or um, didn't level vitality and stuff like he should have at this point but yeah sometimes you get one 
team member in, which uh, you have to carry, but that is absolutely no problem. I mean, the other two guys went for the quick revive, so that's why I actually ran to Point Delta over here, because I thought that they were going for the revive. So I thought, hey, you know what? That's perfect. So that gives me time to capture this coin back, pop some energy, and uh, yeah, just control this side of the map a little bit. At the end, it did work out, so while I'm capping up here, our friend there just uh, saw that I was capping and I was almost finished with capping, so he immediately ran to see and uh, started capping over there. At least, yeah. Right, and then we are already finished, so all it is left to do is uh, kill every enemy that has survived so far, and yeah, with uh, Molecular Prime, the ultimate here is just easy going basically get into the middle or somewhat in the middle and uh yeah instead of using the ability there i thought hey you know what we just save it up <laughs> and yeah frost did a good job as well putting up the globes and freezing enemies where he could so yeah that was really awesome i really enjoyed that i do hope you have enjoyed the gameplay with nova prime with our heck and yeah, so I think this was for, I honestly can't remember. Yeah, but we are in the Master Rank 14 test. And yeah, I will just play a little bit of music at the end of this so you can enjoy this thing. <laughs> and yeah, so it was just um, three waves of enemies. Firstly, Corrupted, I think. Uh, Infested came up and Corpus. Or something among these lines or was it Grenier, corpus infested something on those lines so yeah this is more of a update video i do work on a quick um squad synergy farming methods loot tables explained and stuff like that video so i will post that a week after this one i guess and yeah until then guys i wish you all the best take care see you soon bye bye